In this video, we're going to begin to take a look at inequalities and how we can represent the solutions to an inequality on a number line. As we begin, we need to be familiar with some basic vocabulary related to inequalities. Our first inequality is this symbol that points to the left and opens to the right. It represents less than. For example, 4 is less than 7. Sometimes it is permissible for the number on the left to be exactly the same as the number on the right. In that case, we'll write a line underneath the less than symbol to mean less than or equal to. That means the number on the left is either less than the number on the right or exactly the same as the number on the right. For example, 1 half is less than or equal to 8 sixteenths. You may notice it is exactly equal to 8 sixteenths. Similarly, we can switch the direction of the inequality symbol to mean greater than. For example, negative 3 is greater than negative 7. Again, by putting a line underneath, the symbol now means greater than or equal to. 2 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Often, with inequalities, we, are, we represent them on a number line by graphing the possible solutions. As we graph possible solutions, we will use an open circle for less than or greater than, and we will use a closed circle at the value when it's or equal to, so we know the difference. Let's take a look at an example where we can see this work out. Here, we are going to graph the inequality x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Focusing on negative 3 for a moment, the inequality says we can be equal to that value. For this reason, we will use a closed circle on negative 3. Next, we have to decide which side of the graph will satisfy the inequality. Because the inequality symbol opens to the x, the x is bigger than the negative 3. That means we want bigger numbers on the graph to be used for x. We show this by shading to the right where the bigger numbers are with an arrow off the right side. This means any number in the shading, for example, 2, would be greater than or equal to negative 3. Let's try another example. Here, the graph's already been drawn. We are going to attempt to give the inequality. We want to know how x compares to the number where the graph ends, the number 2. Notice this time, the shading goes off to the left side, smaller numbers. This means our variable x is smaller than the number 2. You recall, the symbol for smaller than or less than points to the left and opens to the right. Because we have an open circle at 2, we do not want the underline on the inequality symbol, showing that x is strictly less than 2. In this way, we graph inequalities to draw a picture of all the possible answers for x.